Remember when you was a kid and you did something wrong and whenever your parent like hit you it like they stop talking and they be like get your ass over like right in the hit middle of every but well, that's what needs to happen to Bazaar. Somebody needs to go to his crib, maybe him and him go to his crib, be like come here Bazaar and then Bazaar comes next to him. He whips his belt off. He's like stop making those damn raps. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up party people? I so yeah. So bizarre from D12 has decided that they're gonna he I said they right because he's just a big nigga. They are gonna shoot shots at Joe Buttons. I mean, whatever nigga. I'm 100 percent sure that Joe Buttons might talk about it, but he ain't gonna do nothing about it. There is no reason why Joe Buttons should have a diss track for Bizarre from D12. Okay, there was a couple of things about the song besides it just not being very good. I think he had like one line in it that I actually heard, and the line was so good that I was surprised. I had to rewind the shit to make sure that I heard correctly. Like, hold on, nigga, stop that track. And then I had to rewind it, and then it, it was I was like, wow, somebody must have actually, you know, helped him write that one line. Anyway, the main thing about the video that I just want to talk about is, well, not really the main thing, but the first aspect of the video that I want to talk about is, besides it just not being very good, is I didn't like the fact that he popped drugs in it. Yeah, exactly. I didn't like the fact that he did that. But do y'all remember when Joe Buttons was like, this person's doing good. That person's doing good. What about Bizarre? Trying to make it seem like Eminem left Bizarre behind and, you know, he, he's not helping Bizarre. And he left him just behind to be all effed up in the game. Remember that? Because the fact that they show Bizarre popping a pill and then smoking weed tells me a lot about the relationship that Bizarre probably has with Eminem currently. You ever have that family member that you love them to death? You just love them. But they just refuse to grow up. They just have decided that they're going to live their life like they're still a teenager. They don't care how old they get. You see, there's a difference between being a man and still having, you know, being youthful. You know, not, not, not letting your youth go, but still being a man. You know? That's why we have kids. Because us men, we need to just sometimes relive our youth. And that's one of the reasons why you have kids. Because, you know, that, that young shit, it ain't for me no more. And I'm not talking about the drugs, so please don't say, oh, you have kids so they can use drugs. No, I'm saying we have kids because that helps us feel young. You know, sometimes you get people who they get older and they use drugs because it helps. It's nostalgia when they use drugs when they were young. So they still use drugs because it helps them feel young. I'm not saying it's the case in Bizarre's particular situation. But what I'm saying is when I saw him have to pop the pill in the video and then light blunts in the video. And he's what? He got to be at least 40 now, right? Got to at least be 40. And this is the image that you want to portray. You know, this is the image you want to portray. Not that you're an adult now. And if you did do drugs, because adults do drugs. But if you did do drugs, it's, and it's not for everyone's consumption. It's not for everybody to see. It's not for everybody to know. You know, that's a part of my life that's private. But. Yeah, I do drugs. I don't care who knows it because I'm an adult, damn it. I'll do my drugs on camera. Isn't Eminem like away from drugs? He he lives a really clean life, I hear. 
He's a, a, a workout fanatic. He jogs like what five, six miles every morning or some shit. On his on his treadmill. Right? That's why uh MJK made MGK made that joke. About the last time he saw eight mile. That was a dope ass line, by the way. I mean, that's like a triple entendre. It's like no, last time he saw eight mile because he's never been back home. Also talking about him literally being on a treadmill and literally watching 8 Mile while he's on the treadmill. Anyway, so I see the hint on there. That was a good line. The point that I'm trying to make is the rap wasn't very good. Don't know why he's coming at Joe Buttons. Actually, I know why he's coming at Joe Buttons. Joe Buttons was making a lot of fun of him. But then wouldn't that even be more of a reason that if we're going to do a video, I'm going to at least get cleaned up, not shoot it in my basement? It's like Eminem just shipped him a camera and was like, whatever, nigga. Do what you want. Yo, I need help writing these tracks. Nigga, Eminem had the, had the UPS guy help him. No, <laughs> the camera. <laughs> the guy that delivered the camera. He's the one that helped him write his verse and shit. And the, the dude is standing there, the nigga like 70 something years old. He's like, rap. Back in my day, we walked uphill to school in the rain. And then we walked uphill back home in the snow. Some stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? One of those guys helped him. That rap was just terrible. Anyway, um, I'm not even going to stay on this that much longer because there's not much to say about this. There's no way in the world that, um, that um, Joe Buttons is going to do anything else other than make jokes about it. That's it. That's all he's going to do. He's going to make jokes and laugh about it. Because that nigga's... A, that, that, that dude, uh, Bizarre, is just... He's not doing well. I don't know no other way to put it. I'm not even going to make but so much jokes about him. Because obviously he's not doing well. We need to all pray for Bizarre. You know, we need to pray for the people in our own personal lives that need help too. Don't get this confused. But we also need to be sending some... some uh. Some prayers bizarre way because I mean, if everybody on the whole team is doing well except for you, like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang, hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I've got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.